Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Series Exam Questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 46. We will be discussing few questions in the topic Hydraulic Turbine from the UPSC questions. The first question from 2014 question paper. There are two statements. Statement 1. In the impulse turbine, pressure change occurs only in the nozzle of the machine. The pressure of the liquid does not change while flowing through the rotor of the machine. So, this statement is true. So, the impulse turbine example is Pelton turbine. In the Pelton turbine, pressure drop takes place only in the nozzle and it is converted into velocity. And uh, the runner is running at the atmospheric pressure. So, pressure across the runner is constant. The second statement, the pressure of the liquid changes while it flows through a through the rotor of the machine in the reaction turbine. So, this statement is also true. In the reaction turbine, pressure drop takes place both in the uh, nozzle and the rotor. So, the correct option here among the four answers. So, the both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. The next question from 2018 question paper. Consider the following statements. The distinguishing feature of radial flow machine, reaction machine are 1. Only part of the total head of water is converted into velocity head before it reaches the runner and 2. The flow through the water completely fills the passage of the runner. Second statement, Kaplan turbine is essentially a propeller working in reverse and its blades are so mounted that all the blade angles can be adjusted simultaneously by means of a suitable gearing, gearing even as the machine is in the operation. That is called the servo motor mechanism. So, in the servo, using the servo motor mechanism, we can regulate the angle, we can change the angle of the rotor blade when it is running. Third statement, a draft tube is a pipe of gradually increasing cross sectional area which must be airtight and under all conditions of operation, its lower lower and the end must be submerged below the level of discharged water in the tail race. So, which of the above statements are correct? All the three statements are correct. So, the regarding the reaction radial flow turbine, the statement regarding the Kaplan turbine, the statement regarding the draft tube, all the three statements are correct. The answer is option D. The correct statements are 1, 2 and 3. The next question from 2018 question paper. The specific speed of a turbine is the speed of an imaginary turbine identical with the given turbine which is which develops unit power under unit head. So, the specific speed of a turbine is the speed of an imaginary turbine which develops unit power under unit head that is the correct answer. The next question from 2018 question paper, the critical speed of a turbine is, uh, there are four options given here same as the runaway speed, the speed that will lead to mechanical failure of the shaft, the speed which equals the natural frequency of the rotor, the speed equal to the synchronous speed of the generator. So, the correct option is the speed which equals to the natural frequency of the rotor. So, critical speed is, critical speed of the turbine is equal to the speed which is equal to the natural frequency of the rotor. The next question, in a Francis turbine, as the water discharged discharge is radial at the outlet, the velocity of the whirl at the outlet becomes, the answer is 0. So, we will see how. This is the velocity triangle, outlet velocity triangle of the Francis turbine. Here, V2 is the absolute velocity, V of 2 is the flow velocity, VW is the, uh, VW2 is the uh, whirl velocity, U2 is the peripheral speed and the VR, VR2 is the radial velocity. Now, the for Axial discharge, sorry, radial discharge, V2 is merging with the flow direction, V of 2, V2 is equal to V of 2, beta become 90 degree as shown here. So, V2 equal to V of 2, beta becomes 90 degree. So, then this VW2 becomes 0. So, the velocity of whirl will become 0. So, U2 becomes the VR2. So, the velocity of whirl at the outlet becomes 0 for radial discharge on the Francis turbine. The next question from 2021 question paper, 
A turbine develops 8000 kW when running at 1000 rpm. The head of the turbine is 30 meter. If the head is reduced to 18 meter, what is the speed developed by the turbine? So, there are four options given here. We calculate the speed. From the definition of unit speed, nu equal to n by square root of h. Now, substitute n1 by square root of h1 equal to n2 by square root of h2. Substitute the numerical values. 1000 divided by square root of 30 equal to n2 divided by square root of 18. And solving this equation, n2 is 774.6 rpm. So, option D is the correct answer. The next question, match the following. This is from 2022 question paper. Deria's turbine is a diagonal flow type of turbine. Propeller turbine, that is Kaplan turbine. Kaplan turbine is a propeller turbine. So, propeller turbine is axial flow type of turbine. Francis turbine is a mixed flow type of turbine. Axial entry, radial discharge. That is the Francis turbine. Pelton turbine is tangential flow. The flow is tangent to the wheel. So, it is a tangential flow type of turbine. So, these are all the matching, correct options of matching. The next question from 2022 question paper. A Kaplan turbine plant develops 2000 kilowatt under a head of 8 meter while running at 100 rpm. The discharge is 250 meter cube per second. The tip diameter of the runner is 6.5 meter and the hub tip ratio is 0.43. What is the flow ratio based on the tip speed? Takes a, take acceleration due to gravity as 9.81 meter by second square. So, there are four options given here. So, the correct option is 0.73. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the flow velocity Vf equal to q by pi by 4 d square capital D square minus small d square. So, this is the area discharge. So, 250 divided by pi by 4 6.5 square minus 2.795 square. So, 2.795 square it is 0 0.43, 0 0.43 times of the 6.5. So, it is equal to 9.24 meters per second the flow velocity. Flow ratio equal to psi equal to flow velocity divided by square root of 2 gh. So, which is equal to 9.24 divided by square root of 2 into 9.8 into 8 equal to 0 0.737. So, the flow ratio is 0 0.737 is the answer. The next question from the 2014 question paper, formation and collapse of vapor bubble are believed to be the root cause for the cavitation in the hydraulic turbine. Most favorable condition for the formation of bubble is set in the turbine at, so there are four options, penstock or the nozzle, guide vane or the inlet of the runner, vans receiving impact of jet outlet of the runner or entrance of the draft tube. In the case of a hydraulic turbine, so the cavitation occurs at the entrance of the, so in the case of hydraulic turbine, the favorable place for the cavitation is outlet of the runner, entrance of the draft tube, option D. So the cavitation is found to occur in the inlet of the centrifugal pump and the draft tube of the hydraulic turbine. See, these are all the two places where the cavitation occur in the hydraulic machines at the entrance of the centrifugal pump and at the entrance of the draft tube of the hydraulic turbine. So, here it is a turbine. So, outlet of the runner or the entrance of the draft tube. So, the next question from 2015 question paper, mainly hydraulic turbines are used to drive electrical alternator which require maintaining a peripheral speed constant even at part load condition to avoid the change in the frequency of the electrical power. The governing of the hydraulic turbine is done by controlling the flow of flow area controlled by the velocity using the flywheel combined control of flow area and the velocity. So, among the four options, the controlling the flow area is the correct answer for the governing of the hydraulic turbine. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, you can refer to the book Fluid Mechanics and Machines for theoretical uh, knowledge of the hydraulic turbine. I upload the video lectures of all these subjects in the YouTube channel. You can subscribe the channel, use the videos for better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We will meet again in another video lecture. Until then, bye.